day one. Trucking a bag of shit to the Coravan Penal Facility. In case you're wondering why I'm all smiles, that's on account of my employer. You see, I ain't the entrepreneur in charge this time. Somebody calling the shots wants all this uh, documented. <laughs> Liability, my ass. Two days out. Convict in the back's named Speedo. Don't know where he got that. Looks pretty fucking slow at the moment. Shut up back there! Idiot keeps grousing about the food and the restraints. Corvan's paying out 350 for this skinny fuck, 200 which goes in my employer's pocket. Pretty shitty math, if you ask me. Last time, Tombs is a work for hire. Did I just say that on camera? Oops. Three days out. Rolled into Corvan to dump the dipshit, and la di da, they tell me they got a first rate bounty of 500k on a familiar face, Richard B. Riddick. <laughs> Makes me wonder what they'd offer on crematoria. <laughs> Ain't it a peach when your work lets you visit with old friends? Four days out. Time to get down to business. My own business. I decided to keep the cameras, make a record of it. Nobody ever met a Merc with personality before. I think I'll lay it down for them. Give folks a touch of class. First things first, head for Lupus 5. Gotta dig up a new crew. Eight days out. Instructions for hiring Mercs. Step one, promise big bounties and big commissions. Every Merc is looking out for number one, and I'm a generous man. Don't even mind sharing as long as the big dog gets his cut. Step two, get good and drunk and find a young lady who enjoys the pleasure of your company. Nine days out. Hit the local card game with the dregs on Lupus 5. This tattooed asshole, Asher, sits down and starts jawjacking about how he's gonna take down Riddick. Then he says he'd deal with me later. Hmm. Let's hope for his sake, he's just talking about playing cards. Ten days out. Turns out Asher wasn't talking about playing cards. Might have gotten messier if this kid hadn't stepped in to mediate. The little man is Evac. He put the drop on Asher for me, and now he says he's looking to get on as a gunner. <laughs> Quite the resume moment. Eleven days out. Lupus 5 is starting to stink at amateurs, so Evac and me gotta look elsewhere to crew up. I even had to deputize a bunch of idiots and sent them on a Riddick goose chase in the stupid direction. Boy, Riddick's big game. Seems like it's more than just a bounty that gets all these panties in a tussle. <laughs> Watch out, sunshine! Here comes trouble. Thirteen days out. Made a pit stop on Lupus 1. Did me a little research on the Helion system. If Riddick dropped his holy friend off anywhere, it would have definitely been New Mecca. The trip's not a total loss. Got me a pilot. Big fucking oaf named Daisy. Not much to look at, but she's all sweetheart. 22 days out. Think Daisy's got an unhealthy obsession with wives' tales. Good thing I'm not married. She won't stop running her gums about some kind of scourge or scourge or whatever it is. It's giving me a headache. 29 days out. Helion Prime. Nice place to visit, but I wouldn't want to live here. Who does want to live here? Anybody else think it's bright enough? <laughs> no way Riddick camps out in these woods, but I got some ideas. 30 days out. Picked up a straggler con named Damascus. A little insurance bounty just for the hell of it. Turned out Damascus already had a handler, a merc by the name of Phelps, who lost his skiff and was looking for a new business partner. I figured a buyout was safer than a gunfight, so Phelps is coming along as my new navigator, and Damascus is coming along for the ride. Sounds like the price on crematoria can handle a split. 34 days out. Since we left Helion, Daisy's so hopped up on conspiracies she won't shut her damn yap. Keeps muttering something like Necromonger. 
damn fine pilot, but I wouldn't mind just sewing her mouth shut. Phelps is working out like a charm. Think maybe I finally got a crew with the stones to get the drop on Riddick. 41 days out. Just hit an outpost off the lanes and found a five-year-old data dump with passenger info on a ship called Hunter Gratzner. William J. Johns in possession of a convict. Now a little due diligence and you can get the name of the skiff that the big bad Riddick rode out on. Now how many slick fuckers do you think could do that? 56 days out. Running low on party poppers now. We just made the landing on Crematoria, and it seems there's some confusion about the price on Damascus here. Is every monkey in this galactic arm terrible at math? 57 days out. Had a little sleepover at the slam. Now you know you got everyone's attention when the bounties start jumping up. These Russian jokers say they're putting up a cool 850k for Riddick. Just the kind of financial motivation a tired bunch of mercs like us need to keep up the good work. 58 days out. Goddamn 52 hour days here and all I want to do is pop the cork and get running. Daisy's been talking to a couple of the Russians. Her tall tales are starting to sound like the genuine article. Some kind of planet killers. Well, ride me hard and put me up wet. Who's got time for that? I got a convict to pick up. 59 days out. Prepping to get off this rock. Now everybody on board is angling for a fatter cut than the big dog. Evac and Phelps sure are asking lots of questions about Riddick. Nobody told me the price of loyalty was gonna be such a pain in my ass. What's to know? He's a fucking convict pimp daddy jailbird. Had to make it clear that my hiring policy is no questions asked. For that, I dish out square cuts. 76 days out. Had to make a few cutbacks recently. After all that work digging up a premium crew, they had to go and make themselves expendable by talking mutiny on my ship. Bet they were surprised to find me and the skiff gone when they got back to the hangar. <laughs> Good luck with that Terminator run! Sunburns like that never really go away. 81 days out. New hiring policy. Nothing too fancy. These guys will work out fine as long as they can draw a bead when we catch up with Riddick. Heading to the Aquila system on some granite intelligence. 83 days out. Back in the Aquilan system again. First time in a long time. Nine worlds to choose from. No need to get all dolled up. Probably won't stop for long. Aquilans aren't that chatty, so uh, intel might be hard to come by. 84 days out. New bounty just hit the wires. Somebody will pay 1.5 million now. Ooh, looks like things just got serious. <laughs> Consider me motivated! 85 days out. Well, what little hospitality there was just ran out. Some comet here just jacked the shit out of my systems. I imagine if Daisy were still around, she'd be barking the same old necromonger tune. Thanks to whatever, we now have to put in for repairs at a nearby outpost. 87 days out. I hit this Aquilan outpost and did a little more digging. Boy, they should start passing out Merc Awards, and I think I'll take the trophy for King Shit. <laughs> Guess who's coming for you, Riddick? 92 days out. Planet UV6. Quite an interesting choice. Maybe I'll use the bounty to hire a Ghost Rider for my, uh... Autobiography. <laughs> Can't wait to see the look on Riddick's face. All deer in the headlights and shit.